Hi guys, good day to everyone. So our lesson for today is modeling real life situation using quadratic functions. But before that, I just want to remind you this. First, ready your paper and pen. Second, stay focused. And the last one, listen carefully. Hi guys, in this video, I will be discussing the models of quadratic functions. So, what is quadratic function? Quadratic function, it is a function that can be written in the form of y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c o pwede rin namang f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. The highest exponent of the variable is 2. Hence, it is called a second degree function. At tatandaan na ang a is not equal to 0 dahil kapag naging 0 na ang a, hindi na siya quadratic function. Magiging linear function na siya, kaya a should not be equal to 0. At isa pang way para malaman natin quadratic function siya, ay tignan natin ang exponent nito. Diba nga, ang quadratic function ay may highest exponent na 2. At syempre, hindi mawawala ang graph ng quadratic function. The quadratic function graph is called parabola. These are the examples of parabola. For example, if a is greater than 0, the graph of the parabola is open upward. But if a is less than 0, the graph of the parabola is open downward. So these are the real-life models of parabola. So let's try this. Which of the following is a graph of quadratic function? Yung unang graph. Graph of quadratic function nga ba siya? Kung ang sagot mo ay hindi, ay tama ka. Yung pangalawang graph naman nakatabi ng circle. Graph of quadratic function ba siya? Yes, di ba? Kasi open upward siya. Yung pangatla naman. Yung sa baba ng circle. Graph of quadratic function ba siya? Yes, kasi open downward siya. Ayong last naman, graph of quadratic function ba siya? Hindi, di ba? Dahil pa straight line lang siya. I have example of how real life situation can be modeled using quadratic function. Example, the length of rectangle is x plus 6 cm and its width is x plus 4 cm. Represent the area of a rectangle using a quadratic function. So here's the solution. The area of a rectangle is the product of its length and width. Therefore, A is equals to length times width. By substitution, A stands for area. Diba? A is equals to length times width. So magiging A is equals to x plus 6, which is yung length sa given, and x plus 4 yung width naman or pwede rin a is equals to x squared plus 10x plus 24 bakit naging ganyan? kasi kapag sinimplify mo siya magiging x squared plus 10x plus 24 na lang kaya kung alam mo kung paano mag simplify mas mapapadali mo ang, ang pag identify so let's try this activity Identify if the following is represents quadratic functions. y is equals to 4x squared minus 5x. Is it quadratic function? Next, yung y is equals to x. Quadratic function ba to? y is equals to x squared minus 40x minus 3. y is equals to 5x cubed minus 5x plus 2. Is it quadratic function? The last one, y is equals to x plus 2, x plus 3. Yes, kapag sinimplify mo siya. So, let's move forward to next lesson. Represent quadratic function using a table of values. 
So, observe the differences between the two adjacent x values and the differences between the two adjacent y values. So, if I have y is equals to x squared plus 2x plus y, may table of values na rin. So, for example, hindi natin alam yung quadratic function or yung table of values lang ang mayroon para natin ma-identify na quadratic function siya. So, first, kukunin natin yung differences ng dalawang number sa x-axis. Unahin natin. So, 3 minus 2 is equals to 1. 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. 1 minus 0 is equals to 1. Ganon din ang gagawin mo sa mga susunod na numbers. Kahit yung unang tatlo lang mo nang isolve mo na number dyan, madali mo na makukuha agad. So next naman, yung y-axis ang hahanapin ng differences. 16 minus 9 is equals to 7. 9 minus 4 is equals to 5. 4 minus 1 is equals to 3. 1 minus 0 is equals to 1. 0 minus 1 is equals to negative 1. 1 minus 4 is equals to negative 3. It is important that we know how to solve integers. If you do not know how to solve integers, the result of the differences in the table of values is wrong. It shows that the differences in x or x-axis are equal, but the differences in y are not. Kukunin natin yung difference ng kinalabansan kanina sa unang difference. So, 7 minus 5 is equals to 2. 5 minus 3 is equals to 2. 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. 1 minus negative 1 is 2. And negative 1 minus negative 3 is equals to 2. Notice that the second differences in y are equal. So remember, pag ang first differences ng y ay equal agad, ay hindi siya quadratic function. Malalaman mo na quadratic function siya pag sa second differences na siya nag-equal. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching!